Hello everyone, this is John Adolphe and welcome to a HUD listing. Yes, this is a government owned HUD home located at 3704 Black Brant Drive in Liverpool with a zip code of 13090. What we have here is a 2222, that's right, 222200 square feet, built 1991. It is four bedroom, bath and a half. As you can see, it's got a two car garage. And let's go out back and see what we got. So we got cedar siding, it looks like. It's in pretty good shape. Yeah, a few boards there and a little bit of touch up paint. Not a very large backyard, got a nice deck. Oh, let's go up on the deck. Let's do that. We'll do the rest of the backyard here up on this deck. This is a cool deck. You know what I like about this deck already? I like the built-in furniture, you know? Put your drinks right here and sit on down. I think I'm going to. And there, I, there we are. Okay, so back of it needs a little bit of paint. Here's the backyard one more time. Sounds good. Doesn't look like that shed comes with it. That's next door, so don't put anything in there. And All right, inside. so this one I have not been inside yet. So this is the first time for me. Let's go over here to the right, or left, sorry. <laughs> These carpets are 1991, I know, because I've seen 1991 carpets in my own house years ago. So in here it needs a good painting, needs a new, new floor covering, and you're good to go. All right, in here you've got hardwood floors. They're not in too bad a shape. Excellent, I would repaint in here. I'd get a different light fixture and maybe refinish the floors just to give it a nice, you know, finishing touch. Kitchen, countertop I'd replace. The island I would replace the countertop here, get all new stainless. We got some stainless here and there. I'd get a stainless for there, repaint, new lighting, and the old cabinets, they can stay. Unless you really wanna go all out and get yourself some maple or some cherry. In here, yeah, this blue doesn't do it. Because it's dark, you feel almost like boxed in. You can kind of see it in the video, but when you're here, it's not as extreme in the video, but it's, uh, it's still nevertheless. Okay, so we got a wood-burning fireplace, and remember, always get them checked. Always have them clean before you go and start any fires, okay? Replace the floor covering in here. Kitchen's got vinyl from 1991. I'd replace that. Sliding glass door looks pretty good. Again, new lighting, paint go a long way. Got your, your obligatory half a bath here. Oh, we got the, got the garage. Let's take a quick look at that. Alrighty, and it looks like you got six foot doors there. That's good. Six, hold on. I gotta go over here because I'll tell you, no. No, seven foot doors, that's even better. You can put more types, more styles of vehicles in when you have a larger door opening this is so we just came in through the garage and there's your washer and dryer hookup okay ah uh, there's the half a bath i was looking for it on my right and here it is on my left okay there we are hello and let's head upstairs Let's go to my left here, the master bedroom, nice and big. Get rid of that fan. Repaint, recarpet, you're good to go. All right, and in here you just got your bathroom, shower, big. Yeah, oh yeah, not a bad size walk-in closet, not bad. Got to replace the carpet. Again, vinyl flooring. Things that haven't been done in a while. You see what I'm saying? Everything's in pretty good shape. I mean, if you're on a budget and you want, you know, a 2,200 square foot colonial, you could come in here and paint and redo the flooring. And you could, you know, little at a time, go beyond that. So here we go, there's another. All right, and one more. Very good. All right, sounds good. Let's head to the basement. All right, we're heading down to the basement. 
Oh, we got nice tall ceilings, almost eight feet. That's good. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, so circuit breaker electric panel. You've got sump pump just in case. It's always good. You've got like a French kind of drain going around uh, the outside of the perimeter in case any water does come in. You've got the insulation, the obligatory insulation on the walls, forced air furnace, little rust down there, which indicates that maybe there was a little bit of water that snuck in here at one time. And if not, just want to have that checked out. Hot water tank looks new or newer. And so you got some what looks like wet areas right here. You know, folks, what you really want to do is just make sure that it's graded away from the house. I'm talking about the ground outside and make sure your seamless gutters are installed proper. And when you do, it'll eliminate a lot of any issues that you have with water problems in the basement. They sometimes just completely go away. All right, I'll give you my final thoughts in just a second. All right, so here we are. We starting, this is just the launching point for this property. They've got it priced at 195. This can be purchased with FHA financing, which is good. Conventional financing as well too, but I think it's a little high, especially with all the uh, upgrades that need to be done to this house eventually. However, remember every 30 days, property price goes down 10%, do the math, give us a call, get on our list, even if you'd like to know about this as it moves forward during the marketing process, 315-695-6434. I want to go out there and hang out. Those of you who'd like to continue to get our videos or start getting our videos, just go ahead and click subscribe and make sure you ring that little bell icon and then it will, oh, that was not planned. You guys have a great day. Ha, ha, ha.